Well, the town of Colesville is about to open a new covered wooden bridge. That's right, a new wooden bridge. In fact, the town has had half a dozen at one point in its history. But this story isn't so much about the bridge, but rather the World War II veteran it's being dedicated to. So we decided to give Most Buffalo's Nate Benson a little extra time on this one, because once he started doing the research on this, he realized it's a long story. Amongst the hills in Wyoming County sits the Colesville Cemetery. Surrounded by trees over a century old and songbirds as fresh as spring. The final resting place for Sergeant Charles R. Cannon. Lost in action, Germany, 1945. Upon his graduation from Attica High School, Sergeant Cannon enlisted in the Army, June of 1941. Where he was part of the 35th Engineering Corps, and they went up to Alaska and British Columbia. Uh, and they were instrumental in getting the Alcan Highway built as part of the defense against the Japanese. Once this strategic highway was complete, Cannon and the rest of the 35th Engineering Combat Battalion made their way to the front lines in Europe, often the first on the line as the Germans retreated and the Allies progressed. According to a newspaper clipping, Cannon survived the collapse of the Ludendorff Bridge, March 17, 1945. He was awarded the Silver Star according to a letter he sent his parents. Six days later, March 23rd, Operation Plunder. The 35th Battalion attempted a late-night crossing of the Rhine River. The Germans lit up the sky with um, lights. According to one account, Sergeant Cannon pushed his men to keep paddling, but his boat was hit by a barrage of German machine gun fire. And we're just shooting the soldiers right out of the boats. His body was never recovered. His cousin persisted through writing his biography and, and just trying to bring some closure to it. In the 1990s, he um, had him officially declared killed in action. Now, some 77 years since Sergeant Cannon was lost in action, he'll be remembered with the dedication of a covered wooden bridge on Sholkoff Road in Colesville. We, we've had a long legacy of bridge, covered bridges in our town. We had six at one point, and when, when this bridge needed replacing, um, they developed a, several different options in looking at them, and doing a covered bridge wound up actually being economically feasible. It's easy to focus on the details of the project, federal and state funds paying for 95 percent of it, or that it's completely wooden, aside from some steel bolts. Or that it was built with fireproofing so a fire can't destroy the bridge like the one that was burned in 1960. For town supervisor Ellen Grant, it's the man they're naming the bridge after that is most important. We had Sergeant Cannon kind of, I don't know, it, all the pieces seem to fall into place with him being in an engineering battalion, with him growing up on the banks of Cayuga Creek. It just, it seemed like the perfect fit. A perfect fit that will bridge the legacy of a local hero for at least another century. In Colesville, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News. A beautiful story and a beautiful bridge as well. I always think those covered bridges are so cool and they're more rare, I feel like, around here than in some other places in the country. And they really are. I, I, I haven't seen too many in my lifetime. No, so. <laughs> I think that's wonderful. Thank you, Nate, for that. And hey, if you are out and about, um, this weekend. Maybe check it out. Check it